well here we go again guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna be talking about the top five submachine guns in the game now if you have not seen my previous video I, we did the top five assault rifles in the game go check that out man i'll leave a link in the description for that video also i want to say thank you guys man thank you guys for 4,000 subscribers man we've been on the grind on the channel lately live streaming uploading videos giving different kinds of content collab videos it has been an amazing journey but we cannot stop there man we got to get to 5,000 subscribers man so we are on the road to 5k 5k is on the way <laughs> yeah baby <laughs> but anyways guys anyways thank you for that i wanted to start this video off by saying that now let's get right on into the cream of the crop of today's video so let's talk about the number five smg in the game which I like to call the RSU or <laughs> what they really call the RUS. Now, the RUS has been one of those guns that have been in the game since launch. Now, I love this gun. I love playing with this weapon. And let me say this before I get into the entire top five. You can use any of this top five, like any weapon off of this top five list, you can use it and be very, very successful. And it's only small, small detail differences that separate one from the other in each level. So number five is not too much better than number four. Number four is not too much better than number three. I mean, not too much worse or, you know, saying the number three, if you get what I'm trying to say. It's, it's a step above each one. So the RUS, man. I love this gun because I have I have become so comfortable with it and when you use a gun over and over and when you have those OG weapons that are in the game you start to use them so much to where you have the recoil patterns down packed to a T and your aim does not slip with it at all so number five is the RUS if you have not been using this weapon use it man I enjoy it so much but it is almost like it's the base of the SMG class it's basically average in terms of everything else that it does everything is average compared to the other ones on this list that I'm gonna talk about so let's get on into number four like I said number four is not too much better than number five just a little bit and that is none other than the pdw now what makes the pdw a little bit better than the rus if you're wondering the pdw has a larger magazine size and that can be very very useful in gunfights man and also i feel like it kills just a tad bit faster in different ranges so i do enjoy the pdw i feel a lot better with the RUS in my hands however in terms of just using it because I use it more like I said a lot of this depends on what weapons you use more but in terms of which one is better it's no doubt that the PDW is a little bit better it's just the RUS can feel a little bit better because as you see a lot of pro players using the RUS when they're using submachine guns man and that feel good factor it plays a big part sometimes it's not about what does the most damage or about what is you know what I'm saying faster to use or different things like that but sometimes the feel good factor plays a big part but number four is the PDW now let's get on to number three now, some people may be surprised why I have this one, but number three is none other than the Pharaoh. Now, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Pharaoh, but like I always love to say, you can never, 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 never deny greatness. Now, I'm not putting it number one, but you cannot deny that the Pharaoh is a pretty good SMG. Now, <clears throat> what makes this, what makes this, listen listen come close come close what makes this weapon not as good as what a lot of people know this a lot of people already know this the pharaoh range is horrendous the range is just not good but up close you're working with a semi truck okay so you better get out the way when the pharaoh comes your way okay i'm just saying i'm just saying the pharaoh up close is an amazing weapon now they did nerf it just a little bit just a little bit in this season but i've used it a little and it's still pretty reliable now in terms of you know what i'm saying range you never want to try to use this thing at long range if, if you ever considering it 
don't <laughs> don't do do not do it do not consider it just don't worry about it all right so that's the reason it's not higher on the list but in terms of being a submachine gun if you put on lightweight and you can if you can cater your play style around being in the right position you will pop off so let's get on into number two now number two is i've been conflicted man i've really been conflicted i want to put this number one and i'm gonna explain why it's not number one and i'll explain why number one is number one so this is this is what everybody's waiting on you already know what two guns are on this list so to me the cordite is now number two now let me explain in terms of overall you know what i'm saying uses you know what i'm saying i think the cordite could be arguably one of the best guns in the game i feel like the range on this is better than the one in number one the one in number one you get what i said there but the weapon in number one i feel like the range is not as good as the core right? however however in terms of the submachine gun staying in those mid to short range gunfights man you cannot deny that the core is amazing but it's not better than the number one weapon now the core is great at short range it is great at mid range you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna say that it is good in short range, great um, at mid, and then you, in terms of a submachine gun, it is great at long ranges as a, as a machine submachine gun. Now it's not good as an AR, of course, but you can use it at longer ranges and still be able to control its recoil, man. So I think that the Cordite is still in some people's mind the number one submachine gun. However, the next the next gun on this list just overtaking every submachine gun now i will say it's harder to learn especially if you're a newer player it has a lot of vertical recoil but vertical recoil is easier to control than horizontal recoil so if you practice with it you can definitely learn it very very easily and it's no problem but the cordite has less vertical recoil you know what I'm saying? It might have a little more horizontal recoil, but it's not a lot of horizontal recoil. You know what I'm saying? But number one on the list, as you might already know, is the QQ9, aka the MP5. I wish they could have just named it the MP5. I heard something about they didn't want to name it that because of like copyright stuff and different things like that. But some some legal thing, I don't know. It does not matter. We know it. We know what it is. It's the MP5 the qq9 i should just name the q9 what's up the double q double q9 <laughs> what's up with the double q9 baby but anyway the qq9 man it's taking over man the qq9 is so good man i've, I've just started using it in rank and it's amazing like especially when you find yourself getting double teamed you know what i'm saying flicking over the shots it's it it's melts people especially especially in those close corner gun fights man it almost feels like the RSU and the MSMC sat down and created one weapon together. Like the C, you remember the season one MSMC? It was crazy. It almost like I don't know if the, this doesn't kill as fast as that, but it's it's close. It is very very close. You know what I'm saying? It is very very close. So if I had to say, you can flip number one and number two. The Cordite is probably better overall, like around. But in terms of playing with the SMG. You don't really want to be in a whole lot of long distance gunfights anyway. You want to be up close and personal. So that's why the Q, I'm going to just call this the Q9. I don't like saying QQ9. The, the Q9 <laughs> is the number one SMG in the game. If you have not gotten this, man, grind that battle pass. Get the free version. I'm, I'm working on getting the other version of the Q9 very, very soon. Grinding that battle pass, man. But i do i do enjoy the q9 man it is very very good the number one smg in the game in my personal opinion man so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below what is your favorite smg also if you have not already hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video if you want to see more top fives let me know down in the comment section below i'm thinking about doing a top five loadout for beginning players you know what i'm saying i can look at the levels and see what weapons they have and come up with a layout for every like you know what I'm saying for every different weapon or like the, whatever weapons they have in a certain range like maybe from level one to 30 or something like that 
but if you're interested in that let me know i, I can do that it's no problem bro <laughs> but anyway guys i will see you in the next video man we got 10 minutes all you know what i'm saying <laughs> you gotta make that 10 minute mark baby you gotta do it for the youtube algorithm <laughs> oh man i do appreciate y'all man y'all just don't know man it's it's been a great journey and i really do appreciate all y'all coming through and hitting that sub button man 5k is on the way